Wow. You're so talented. Yeah, sing it for everybody. Okay. So Jimbo says, uh, we're almost up. And guys, I'm way more prepped this time. So I'm so excited. I'm so excited. Okay. But I'll be on in just a second. How does my audio sound? Happy birthday, everybody. Yeah, Jimbo says happy birthday too. Yeah, keep telling everybody say hi. Well, I grab my the rest of my yarn, Jimbo. Go on, tell everybody you say hi. Say hi. Okay, good boy. Good boy. What a boy. I'm gonna try to finish my bagel real quick before we get started. So I don't die of hunger. Jimbo is literally like hiding in my light box right now. So I'm trying to get him out, but I'll be on in just a sec. Come on, bud. Yeah, come on out. Okay. I'm sorry, we gotta kick you out, but you know what? Why don't we say hi to real everybody real quick. Just real quick hi. Hi everybody. I'm about to kick, kick Jimbo out, but then I'll be on. So I guess like be two more seconds. Hello. Happy birthday, everybody. Happy birthday. It's our birthday. Hope everybody's having a great day. And look, this time, I'm way more prepped. I'm all pumped. I'm vibing. It's going to be chill. Listen to that good background music. Well, you can barely hear it, actually. I'll turn it up just a little bit. 
Let me know how the sound is and everything like that. Hi, 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 hi. Happy birthday to Club Crochet. It is our fifth birthday at Club Crochet and our second try time trying to do this live stream. If you were on uh, our Thursday stream, it only lasted about 45 minutes because my computer crashed. We had started this project, but you know what? We're restarting today and it's way gonna be e cleaner. I'm just, I'm stoked. Here's what we're doing today. Today, for our birthday, I mean a lot's going on, but the main thing is we are crocheting the king burb. Ah. We're crocheting the king of burbs. You can crochet whatever burb you want. If you want to, you can even crochet the macaw because it's a free pattern today. I put the link in the comment or in the chat. Um, but let's switch cameras and show you what we're working with. It's really just the burbs again. But you know, it's a be ba 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 ba. Oh, the chat's not working. Okay, we're gonna see if the chat we can get the chat order real quick. Okay, that might have that might have fixed the chat. All right, guys, look at our beautiful burbs. Ah, we have got ten burbs now. Ten burb patterns as of today. Our tenth macaw burb pattern is added to the library. And today we are making our king of burbs. And look at this, guys. I did a drawing. So you guys voted on Thursday about what burb we're going to be making. And everybody was like, you know what? We're doing the king. We're doing the king of burbs. That's what I want to see. Here's what I've got for us today. We're going to be making this. Our king burb. He's going to be fat with power. Have a beautiful burby head with a little crown. But then under will be a little... <laughs> tiny head. We're going to do a giant, big, giant burb. Now it's not going to be literally giant. I'm not going to use giant yarn. Um, the majority of the pattern is going to be somewhat similar. The head maybe will be a little taller. I might even do a double head. So it's like you pull the king head off and then there's another king head and you pull that off and then there's the little burb. But we might just do one, one and done burb. Uh, I think what we'll start with is probably the king burb body itself. I'm thinking also all this king burb should basically be pigeon style because pigeon was our first burb. It makes sense that the pigeon would be king of burbs, I think. With some adjustments, of course, we're gonna probably have a larger beak and stuff like that. But color wise, we're gonna do, I think we're gonna do, gonna do purple for the head because that's the most kingly of colors. With a lot of golds, you know, gold for the, for the crown and for the mouth here and then gold for our little feet. But the body here is gonna be gray, a big fat gray burb. We might end up adding a little tiny cape on the back because that would be freaking hilarious. But this is the plan. Okay, now, what do you need for this uh, for today? If you wanna crochet along with me, I'm basically gonna be working off of the pigeon burb pattern. You can find all the burb patterns at clubcrochet.com slash burbs. I put a link right here right there, and if you want, you can get the macaw pattern totally for free while this live stream is going on. I'm doing it just as a little special extra thank you. You can find that at clubcrochet.com slash macaw, but you can find all the burp patterns at clubcrochet.com slash burps. Also, we're doing a giveaway today. If you want a chance to win a five month membership to Club Crochet, you know, five years, five months, that makes sense. We're gonna give it to five people and I'm gonna choose the winners next week. You can enter the giveaway by going to clubcrochet.com slash giveaway. All of these links are gonna be in the description of this video. Also, if this video gets enough likes, we're gonna do another giveaway next live stream, which will not be next week, but the week after. So there's another thing. Let's shoot for, hmm, let's shoot for 250. We'll kind of shoot a little low. That's, I think, okay. Um, yes, Leaf Sauce, you're right. He might, he may need a little tiny staff as well. That's a great idea. But we're going to ixnay the Pope hat idea that we had on Thursday because we're going to save that for le later. I don't think the, you know, the government of burbs should be, uh, you know, no church in state, you know? So we'll keep, we'll keep the Pope burb and the King burb <laughs> separate. <laughs> if you want to crochet along with me, other than the pattern, you're going to need the following materials. I'm going to be using all worsted weight yarn in 100% cotton. Uh, I'm specifically going to be using mostly purple, gray, 
and gold with some flourish of different colors like reds and stuff like that. Uh, a little, maybe a little bit of black. We're also gonna give him a unibrow, so I don't know what that's gonna be made with. You'll need a crochet hook, of course. I'm gonna be using a size G, four millimeter crochet hook. And you'll need a pair of scissors. We're also going to, because we're gonna be making our burb fat, we're gonna need some heavy coins to put in him because he's gonna need to sit up straight. So I'm gonna be probably collecting a bunch of pennies and stuff. Um, hmm, I just realized I didn't really get that part of the, this set up, but uh, we'll figure out what we're gonna stuff him with later. I might need Jules's help getting, like collecting all the coins and stuff, but she'll be back in just a second. We might even fill him with quarters because I actually do know where quarters are and that could work. But yeah, we'll see. Um, you're very welcome for the free pattern, Vicky. Thank you so much for thanking, I guess. Also, uh, if you really want to thank, you should like this video. And also, if you really, really want to be thankful, there's a few ways you can support this channel. Wow, look at that seamless transition. Oh my god. If you want to help support this channel, <laughs> there's a few ways you can do so. The first easy free way, obviously what we've just been saying, like this video, but also subscribe to the channel if you're not subscribed. If you want to support this channel monetarily, you can do so with a membership. Members get early access to future patterns, they get access, they get access to the full library patterns, and they get a kit mailed to their door. Next month's kit is going to be for a build your own snowman. It's gonna be dope. I love it. I actually have it in the other room. You know what? Let me grab grab it real quick. Build your own snowman! Okay, so, I mean, it's gonna be, you can choose your kit. Next month, you can do a, um, a present gift box. You can make an elf, or you can make a snowman. It's gonna be a build your own snowman. I'm still working on the logistics because I wanna add a few more build your own parts, but the base body is gonna be like this. The arms are gonna be removable. Everything's, it's gonna be like a Mr. Potato Head, but for a snowman. And so there's gonna be a hat. I'm gonna add an elf ears pattern. Um, we've got a little red nose for the reindeer version because he's going to have little reindeer antler options. It's going to be a cool kit. I'm very excited. Um, it's going to be our, honestly, our last big, big, big kit. So sign up now. Okay. So that's the membership stuff. If you want to support, you can also support by purchasing merch in the store. If you want, I've got a whole bunch of merch. We got t-shirts, we got stickers, we got pins. We're going to have more pins and stickers soon. Um, and, uh, 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 what was the other thing? Uh, oh yeah, you can support by tipping. If you really like what's going on here and you want to support monetarily, you can tip me. And that'd be really great. And if you tip for, let's go with, we're going with a, if you tip for a $15 fee, oh, wait, 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 yeah. If you tip for at least 15 bucks, we're going to put your beautiful, a beautiful burb of your choice in our background. I know you can't really see it, and I just faced backwards, but hang on. Okay. You can kind of see our little thing here. I've got a whole bunch of space up here now, too. All you need to do is tip, and we actually already had one. Cooper, thank you so much for your donation. I really, really appreciate it. If uh, you could kindly let me know what kind of burb you would like in the background. I would love to add it back there and you can give it a name. Actually, this flamingo is yours as well. You have to name this one. This is from last live stream. So I'll just go ahead and put it there. And uh, let's clean our let's clean, clean our station and get, get hooked in there. Um, but yes, Cooper, thank you so much for your $20. I really, really, really appreciate the support. And I'm just super stoked that you get to join the live stream today because I know you weren't able to make last Thursday. Uh, when everything went awry anyhow um, Someone asked about the super strong magnets. These are the super strong magnets. They're called neodymium magnets. They're extremely strong Check it out. You can make them work. Oh, I can you can make them work in your hand. Wait, I can make it flip Isn't that cool? It's pretty cool. I'm a magician basically um, Reindeer pattern. That's a great idea. I love that idea Let's get these out of the way and don't forget, macaw pattern, nowza. Also, thank you so much for your support, Tina. Thank you. I really appreciate it. 
Uh, da, da, da. Okay. So the oh oh good question. Lightweight had a good question. I'll answer that in a second as well. I think that was lightweight that asked that. I don't think my thing is updating right. Oh, light wolf. Yes. They asked, uh, can they sell the finished item that you made with Club Crochet pattern? You absolutely can. Just give credit to Club Crochet in the description of the pattern. We're gonna try to keep our our long burbs there to keep us company, and we'll keep our drawing right here. And you know what, guys? I think it's time we get hooking. All right, so where are we gonna start, guys? Where we're starting? I think we should actually start with the burb body itself because it's just gonna make me laugh so much and it's just gonna be fun and I kind of think I know how to do it. Um, why don't we start with the wings? And there will be a little tiny tail. I obviously didn't draw that, but we'll start with the wings of our giant burb. Uh, gray, I think is great to do all of our main body stuff in because he's gonna have other parts of him that are gonna be fun and silly. So I think maybe, um, I think maybe uh, it'll be nice to have like some base colors to make the other stuff pop. At least that's what I'm thinking like with the crown and stuff. Like if his body was so, had so much going on then it wouldn't be worth it to like add a, you know, a cape and a scepter. Like I wanna, I wanna make it so that we have like a canvas to work on for all of our details. We're gonna start, I'm gonna start by making the wings of the burb and I'm gonna be just using um, I actually think I need to use slightly bigger wings than the pigeon wings so I might use the I think I can use I think I'll use basically the crow's tail but without the mini picos so there's it's a soft round one I think that's gonna be the idea um uh, Naughty Flower says, do you have a peacock burb? Not yet. That was, t that's totally a plan for next year though. We're definitely going to be doing peacock burb next year for our burb day. So keep a look out there. Oh, boop, boop. One, two, three, I feel like the music's really loud. Is the music really loud? Um, giveaway submission from last live stream does count for this live stream. It's the same giveaway. So yes, you don't, it's not going to be a different giveaway. So yes, if you entered in on Thursday into the giveaway, you will get, uh, it'll be the same one. Okay. So I'm just kind of going off autopilot here because I'm pretty sure I remember how to make this tail. I mean, it's basically, it's really simple. It's basically just the crow one. And I'm not doing the pattern for this video, uh, for this, you know, like, I mean, I might do the pattern after the fact, but in this live stream, I'm not going through and saying, do this, do that, do that. Well, I'll do it. I'll do it later if we got a whole bunch of stuff for it and I might add it to the website and I might do like a whole video tutorial for it, but it's our burb day. I kind of want to just make sure things are Lucy goosey today and we let it we let whatever happens with our king burb happen without having to think about a pattern okay so there's one wing just like the one winged burb sings a song sounds like he's singing Whoo, baby Whoo, baby Whoo. beautiful well wow, i'm a such a great musician Pull through. We got a wing. We got a wing. Wow. Cooper on fire with those bots. Good job, Coop. You rock. Not too loud. Music's not too loud. Music sounds good. Great. We're using a different, um, a different company for our music today. Uh, you can check out more info about them in the description. I added the playlist actually. So if you want to listen to this playlist at a different time, I added it there. It is on shuffle. So I don't know what kind of music we're going to get, but that's all right. If we hate it, we'll switch it. Yes. Your giveaway entry will count from your from the last live stream. So don't worry about that. 
and go get that macaw pattern ASAP because I'm gonna make it not so free. It's only free now. Hello, Darshna Fishy. Hola, como estas? Spaghetti. One, two, three. We need an avocado pattern. Well, good news for you. January, February, and March next year, I've started to come up with my year plan of what patterns are going to be coming out when, and we're going to be doing food. So I'm splitting thing. I'm probably going to split things up in the theme. Now, no promises right now. Uh, I'm basically taking next week to figure out what's going on with the website and patterns and all that other stuff. But right now we're thinking the first quarter's themes of patterns are going to be based around food. So avocado would be perfect there. Yes, grapes, kumquats, fruits and veggies. Coffee is going to also count as a food in my in my world. Coffee also counts as a food, so we might do some coffee stuff. For search, there we go. Whew. We gotta be careful. We might end up accidentally breaking this yarn because it has to pull through so tight. But we got our wings done. We, we're gonna try these big wings. We might end up doing smaller ones. Like I might remake these to be smaller if the body is just like, if it looks funnier with little tiny wings, that might work out too. And we might just use one of these for a tail instead. I think wings are good though. Let's go ahead and move on now. Um, I'll do a, actually, you know what? We'll do one more for the tail because the tail we're gonna make the same anyhow. So I'll do just do one more of these for the tail. If we don't use it, whatever. If we need to make it different, we need to make it different. And that's okay. That's okay. Let's not spam. Yep, listen to Cooper. Don't spam Pop-Tart. I get it, Pop-Tart. Oh, because you wanted me to crochet a Pop-Tart. Understood, understood. Beda had a question. Beady had a question for me. Beady, um, duh, 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 duh. I paid for the membership, but I haven't gotten anything. BD, what membership did you pay for? For the, if you signed up for the kit membership, then you should have gotten a kit uh, if you signed up for it before the end of the, before the end of November. If you didn't sign up for it before the end of November, then you're going to be getting next month's kit, which is gonna be the snowman one. So it, it works like that. If you signed up for a, a pattern membership, then I don't ship anything for pattern memberships. It's a digital uh, membership. So you get access to the entire website. So if you signed up for that membership, actually it doesn't matter which membership you signed up for, but either of the membership levels will get you full access to the website. So you should have access to all of the patterns on the website with your membership. But let me know, let me know if you need any extra advice there. We need the patterns that are not out from the uh, rough drafts. Understood completely. Yes, we're probably. Gonna, I'll probably start adding new ones to the to that, and then getting those ones actually completed as full time patterns too. You know, like finally put in the work to get that Pikmin one out, and the dwarf, and all those other stuff. But yes, I totally, I totally get it. All right, so we got wings. We got a tail. We got options. We gotta be careful of accidentally breaking the yarn, but that's all right. All right. Boop -ba -da boo Let's move on and start the burb body. And Jules is here, I heard her. I want, I need your help, Jules. What kind of membership is the giveaway? The membership for the giveaway is not gonna be a kit membership. It'll just, it'll be the digital membership for five months. Okay, one. Now the top of this head, I, I want the same as every other Burb's head. 
you know, one, two, three, four, five, and six. So we're gonna make this a very tiny top of the head and then we're just gonna get it way bigger when it comes to the body part because that's gonna be funny as heck. Mickey Cricky's feeling rusty. I was just talking about you today, Mickey. I was talking to you about Jules. I was like, Mickey Cricky's been a member for so, so long. I think I think Mickey Cricky is the longest standing Club Crochet member. She's she's an OG member. <laughs> I was gonna I was gonna say Onyx. I was like, what did what do you mean? Mickey Crick is an elder. What happens if we already have the kit membership? Uh, you mean for next month's kit? You'll get you'll get the kit. I don't know what you mean. What what do you mean? What happens to what, Onyx? I don't I don't know what your question is. I should be counting my stitches because I'm not sure if I have 12 stitches around or not. Snail pattern request. Understood, Michelle. Michelle. Like a snail. <laughs> hey, also, get this. We're going to be adding these to the library or to the site soon, too. These are new darning needles they come in all colors i need to add it to the website still but you know kind of cool kind of cool little shout out we're gonna go ahead and use our yellow one today what happens if you already have a kit membership oh for the giveaway i'll give you a gift card so that you can use it on the website if you've already if you already have a membership and you win the giveaway Or I'll give you, if you already have like a regular level membership, I'll give you a, um, you know, five months for free. There we go. I'll get it, I'll get it in the shop ASAP for you, Mickey. This is gonna be okay so here's the question do we do it so it's like so if we look at a burbs body right now we're basically right where the beak and the head is do we go like slowly down and then we get really big down here are we going like this big for this burb I mean he's got to be fat with power right so he's got to be fat 18 and then we'll go up you know what yeah that's what we'll do I got it I got it I got it in my noggin. Have I named the frog yet? Ooh, Cosmo, I am not sure. Five Worlds Explorer gave me this adorable frog this week uh, at Stitches West. We talked about it a little bit on the last live stream, but isn't that adorable? It's so cute. It's just so cute. And I have to name it. Um, Mickey Cricky, am I still planning on doing the pin membership next year? kind of I am I'm not totally comfortable about talking about what the plan is for membership stuff next year but suffice to say things are going to be different and we're still figuring it out but I'll I'll fill you fill you in on everything as soon as it is solidified Can I sing a little bit Not really Jules is the singer. She is a very, very talented singer. Very talented singer. Mm 
One, two, three, and then we're getting bigger. So I'm, I'm still gonna slowly make it bigger here as we go to the fat part of the body, but I don't wanna get it too, wow, ooh. That was, I, pulled, I pulled a little too tight there. All right, but I don't think we wanna go like big too quick, so I'm gonna slow it down a little bit. How is Jack Gurgle? Jack Gurgle is doing A-OK. -okay. Uh, I didn't bring him to my Stitches event this last week, so... He was... I think he felt a little left out, but he's doing all right. Oh, yes, that is true, Cooper. The A few live streams ago, during the Ghost live stream, where I crocheted a giant ghost, I did sing a little bit then. I sang in the, um... At the very end, if you want to rewatch that live stream, I play one of my original songs on the ukulele and sang a little bit there. Brittany asks, how long have I been crocheting? I've been crocheting for about 16 years, I think, maybe seven, it's probably, probably around 16 years. Yeah. Ooh, how fun. Vicky, enjoy making salsa with your daughter. Very cute. Processo Blackthorn. Lizzie, you rock. Oh, it's Lizzie Lizzie. Oh, do you? I always forget because you changed your name. You changed your name that one time. Hi, Lizzie. Been a member for four years. Shout out. Okay, so now we're doing two, three. Wait, so one, two. We're gonna go three and four. Yes, now we're getting, now is when we're getting big. Three and four. Now, how big are we getting? That is a good question, I don't know. I don't know. We'll see how big, how big we want it to get. I mean, we can't make him too crazy big, but he is the king of burbs. He needs to have some heft. You know what I mean? You know what I mean? Um, yeah, we could do a few more rounds before I start adding the face and stuff. Mickey Cricky in October was her 11th year of crocheting. Congratulations. Congratulations. Okay, so we know we want to get bigger than this, so we'll keep going for another round of increasing. I'm basically going to increase to almost as big as I want the body to be right now, and then I'm going to just do a net one more round of just like a small round of increasing, like half Right now I'm increasing by six each round, and then once I get to the size I want, I'm gonna increase by half of that. So I'll increase by three stitches, and then we'll do the length of how long we want his fat body, and then we'll close it up. But once I get a few more rounds of the size going here, we can add our face and stuff. Music's not too loud, huh? This song feels extra loud to me. Is the song is this song too loud? I'll turn it down just a bit. I just feel like it is. But maybe I'm wrong. <laughs> we are doing so much better already than last week. Last week, or I mean on Thursday's live stream was Someone said it. I think Leaf Sauce was like, cursed live stream. It kind of was a little cursed. I'm not going to lie. So I think we even need one more round of increasing, at least. And then, because I'm thinking like we go this, because, you know, verb. And we're going to make him pretty big, so he's going to be like that tall. Yeah, he needs to be fatter than this. This ain't fat enough. Cat fat needs to be fatter. 
Music on the low side. Okay. There we go. I gave it an extra decibel or two. We'll see how that goes. Yes, oh, Cosmo, I did see that. It has been a very long week for me, so I haven't gotten back to you on email, but I did see uh, that you asked for a few pictures of some stuff like Bluey, my the the puppet that I crocheted and things like that. So I'll get back to you ASAP. That's big enough. Okay, keep going. Are the patterns out for the uh, the donut and the fried egg? No, they are not out yet because I've been focusing on finishing up these burbs and the stuff for the holidays first. Um, and because next, because January is going to start our month of food, I figured, you know what, we'll save them to release them as legitimate patterns on the website then, uh, you know, to work with the theme of everything. And that way I can focus a little bit more thoroughly on what's going on with this month and the next month. Um, but they will be on the site soon. And if you want to rewatch the live stream, I do explain the entire pattern in that live stream too. So yeah, that's my, that's my detail with those patterns. They will be, they'll definitely on the website in written form ASAP though. I just need to get some other stuff figured out first because you know, priorities. It's a priority thing. I believe this will be my last round or last few increases in here. One, two, One, two, three, four, five, six. Okay, one, two, three, four, and then our increase. Six. Okay. This now now this is a fat burp. Okay, so let's like hold it up and we'll hold the picture up to see like I mean legit guys. The drawing we could go even fatter. Hmm. Do we go fatter than this? Or is this fat enough for our burb? I mean, you're legit going to be able to fit an entire burb in this burb. I think it could be a little bit fatter though. I don't know. What do you think? Let me know in the chat. Do you think that we could go, we should go a little fatter than this? Or do you think... I mean, I'm gonna go a little fatter regardless, but do you think we should go out to like here or out to like here? Because the thing is, it's gonna get a little bit fatter and then down, but we could go even bigger and then down. So let me know while you guys are making that, uh, giving me that feedback, I am going to start on the burb beak and the face for our little burb because I know we're gonna need that and I already know how I'm gonna do it, so. Bigger, bigger. Oh, everybody's saying bigger. There's no poll that needs to be done. Everybody's like, give him more heft. I want my king to be chunky. All hail the king of burbs. Wider, wider. Yeah, I don't think we need a poll. <laughs> Just because he's gonna, like, everybody agrees. We want them to be fatter. All right, cool. I like it. I am glad that we all are on the same page, that we like our burbs chonky. Thick. We want a thick burb. Let's go ahead and still give him his face now, though. I like that we're on the same page. Bigger is royalier. I agree. Completely craft kittens. Jules is gonna see that. Jules had a lot of input on the design. I mean, obviously we had like an idea of what we wanted the design to be, but she was like, yeah, you should do the head really tiny and then the big, big, big fat body. And I was like, oh, that's good, that's good. Yes, yes, more, give me more ideas. But she's gonna, I really think she's gonna love the execution of this. Of this fat burb. And I like the idea of filling him with money because that's just funny to me. 
because he's a king. Um, all right, eyes. We got that on. We need his little six millimeter eyes. By the way, bottle of eyes in the shop, please. You should purchase them. They make, this would make a really good Christmas gift too. It comes with 50, like a bunch of little eyes. You can get them in six millimeter, eight millimeter. It's got a little logo on the top. It's a great way to support this channel. So yeah, they're on our website. I think if you just go to clubcrochet.com slash eyes, you can find them there. He needs a throne. I don't know if we're gonna have enough time to make him a throne today, but I don't deny he will likely need a throne. Okay, what color are we gonna make his unibrow when we make it? Because he needs a unibrow, on the, I mean, we maybe just black? Let's see what it looks like if we do black unibrow. This song is fun. Um, we might have 10 millimeter actually. Uh, I'm not sure if it's in the, if it's on the site that you can order it with 10 millimeter, but um, I know we have 10 millimeter eyes that we can fill it with. so. Let me, uh, let me ask about that, and if it's not available, I'll try to figure it out and fix it on the site so that it can be available. Cool. All right, so we're gonna go from over here with this unibrow. Needs to go just a little further than his eyes. And I want it to be like, I really want it to be like this. So it goes up a little bit and then down like that. So maybe we start by going all the way across. And we make sure it starts out going high and then we'll go down right here. Let's see what this does. That's pretty good. Yeah, I like that. I like that. Oh, yes, 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 King Burb. Looking stylish, boy. That is a unibrow, right? Yes, I like it. Personally, I like it. Maybe it could be a little lower, but I think it's pretty good because we can also make him look like this. So it could be like, how dare you question King Bird's authority? I feel like he's gonna be so heavy once we stuff him and everything that the magnets aren't gonna matter. You know what? Oh, you know what? Instead of stuffing him with a bunch of... Oh, <laughs> look at that. He's like, hmm, yes. Yes. Kingbird. That's nice. That's nice. Okay, we got to make our boy chunkier. Um, we can stuff him with a super duper duper strong magnet. I got these like super thick magnets and they're super heavy. That could work really well, because then he can actually magnetically attach to things better too. I'll see. I'll see what the option. I'll see. I'll see how that works once we get to that point where we need to stuff him up. But in the meantime, we need to get him fatter. He needs at least one one more round of fatness. Probably two rounds of fatness. He looks like a puddle. He does look like a puddle. That's funny. We might end up remaking the wings so that they're even tinier to make his body look even fatter. Because that's still a pretty big wing for this fat, fat boy. And it might be better to make it tiny, itty bitty wings. But we'll see. We will see. How's everybody else's weekend going? How was your weekend, everybody? Hope you're having a great weekend. What are you guys up to this weekend? 
How's your Thanksgiving going to be? I know that probably a lot of people here are not from the United States, maybe not celebrating Thanksgiving, but next week is our Thanksgiving weekend, or week. Jules and I are going to San Francisco. Should be pretty fun. We're going to go to San Francisco and get and do Thanksgiving dinner with her family, her brother up there, and we get to see her niece, Sophie. She's so cute. She's the cutest baby. Very cute. What are you guys doing for Thanksgiving? Anybody anybody making a turkey? My dad usually likes to actually deep fry a turkey, which is wild, but honestly, it's like so good. So Yeah, we probably we'll miss out on that probably, but that's okay. Susan! Susan! You must be late. Check out the, the pinned chat thing there, Susan, and you'll see. The parrot pattern, aka the macaw, is out now. Not only is it out now, but during this live stream, you can get it for free. So go to the website, go to the link in the description. It's free during this live stream. So get it while it's getting good. It's pretty good. Pretty. That's a pretty. That's a pretty hefty boy. That's a. Hef I mean, I'm still gonna do one more round of increasing, but this boy, this boy's got some heft. Yeah, Tidal Wave of Family. It's on its way. It's on its way, Morgana. For sure. I love your name, by the way. Alright, so this round, we're gonna go... We're increasing still one more round, but I'm only doing a little tiny bit of increasing for this round. And then we're gonna do our just series of just regular single crochet stitches after this round to just give him, give our burb some height. Some much needed height. Hello add-ons world, how are you? Hope you're having a great Saturday. Well, here we go. Neck crack time, ready? Oh. Wow. Wow. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. Don't do that at home, kids. If you're, if you, if you don't, don't start cracking your bones. You're gonna get addicted to it. It's, it's bad, it's a bad habit. I highly suggest you don't do everything that I'm doing right now. I'm sorry, boys. I'll fix you. I like that the um I like that these the long pigeon and long turkey are kind of like going to be his like guardians. They'll be his they'll be his like so, uh uh main soldiers, you know, like like when you're a king and you walk up to the throne, if you walk up to the throne of the king, they've always always got their like first and second hand soldiers like on the right and left to protect him. That's what long pigeon and long turkey are gonna be. Greeting, greetings from Peru. Hello, two otters. All right, this is our last round of increasing. This is how big our fat king is gonna be. And you know what? I think that's perfect. <laughs> you guys? I'm digging this. I like this burb a lot already. I'm so into this. And I'm so glad, you know what? Blessing in disguise that the live stream on Thursday didn't work out because I just, I feel like we never would have gotten this quality of burp during that live stream. It was just too chaotic, too crazy. Things were breaking. The cord, my cord for the computer wasn't working. That's why everything crashed. So now we're good. Actually, let me make sure that it's charging the computer. Yeah, it is. Okay, good.
All right, so now we're just doing a whole bunch of rounds of single crochets. Probably not that many, maybe like six, five or six rounds of single crochets. So we got a second, we got a second of crocheting of just crocheting over and over and over and over. So now let's do a little chatting, guys. I know I've just been basically chatting with you the whole time, but have you guys seen any good movies recently? Any good, any good movies to crochet to? Or any good movies you saw in the theater recently? I just saw uh, the new Black Panther movie last week, or on, I guess on Thursday, Wednesday or Thursday. It was really good. Really, re actually, no, it was Wednesday. It was a really, really good movie. Very emotional, but super duper good. Highly suggested. Also super long though, so if you go, do not go to go see that movie any later than, like, 7 p.m. because it's like three over three hours. It was crazy long Chrissy You made it into a live stream. Welcome Chrissy. Hope you're having a great day. What are you doing today? You crocheting some stuff? Ooh, the Christmas cabin is a 10 out of 10 movie Mickey Cri Cricky you need to sell me on this. What is the Christmas cabin? What is the Christmas cabin? Hello, funky smell. <laughs> I like your, I like your name. Yes, we're making a chonky pigeon. This is gonna be King Burb. We're making our king, the king of all burbs, at least the current king. I'm sure eventually he'll be dethroned by a younger, more handsome burb. Well, I don't know if you can get more handsome than this though. Like, let's be honest. Like, look at that brow. Too handsome. Too cute to boot. We're going about this big for the body, and then we can start decreasing it down. But we're going pretty big. So that's like probably five, probably five or six rounds of single crochets. Oh, 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 I love those ones. I love those movies, Mickey Cricky. The movies that are so bad, they're good. Like, like Need for Speed Tokyo Drift. Mmm. Love to hate it. The first Scooby-Doo movie, terrible. Fun to watch though, because it's so bad. Chrissy's working on a blanket. Dope, I've actually only ever finished one blanket and it was only halfway done when I was like, I can't do this anymore. But I wanna start working on blankets again soon. I really wanna do, eventually do a part of a, um, the club crochet, like, one of like the subscription options or something that is a, a blanket that we make throughout the year and you get a little bit of yarn every month and we just crochet. I was kind of thinking it'd be really fun to make a bunch of different granny squares and you guys don't know what you're making but at the end of the year we sew it all together and you find out that like we made something specific like I don't know I just think that'd be such a fun idea so might be a fun thing to do in the future. R.I.P.D. 2 oh my gosh the rest in peace depart or rest in police department with with uh, Ryan Reynolds I saw the first one it was pretty good good to know that the second one is pretty funny even if it means that it's like funny because it's bad I'm still into it All right, there's another round of single crochets. Gosh, this boy's getting honky. Every round feels a little honkier than the last. He looks like a UFO right now. He looks like a weird pigeon yarmulke. <laughs> oh my God, he's so big. <laughs> just, just to, I mean, this is not gonna be the head, but just to like get an idea, cause the head's gonna be probably a little bit bigger than this, like taller and more, extravagant but that gives you a good idea of how honky our burb is gonna be gosh that's a honker all right he looks like a flying saucer yeah totally 
Free Guy was a good movie. I super enjoyed that movie. That was really fun. Yaw Yar, you need to make another burb. What are you doing? Make a burb with me. If you want to get a take, a, you want to make a real challenging burb. Make the new Macop parrot burb. I just put it into the uh, like we're giving it away for free during this live stream. You can find it at clubcrochet.com/slash macaw. There's a link in the description. But my point is, it's a challenging burb, like probably the hardest burb to crochet. And so if you're looking for a challenge, if you're a good, you know, it's not the first burb you've ever made, then I would say give it a shot. It is really fun and it's totally free today, only, right now. Get it. It's just for celebrating our burb day. You've only made the pigeon, Chrissy? You gotta make the humming burb. That's the brand new one that I just added to the uh, YouTube channel last week. It's super fun. And uh, here, I'll show you what it looks like. It's very easy too. I made it like even more beginner friendly. Another free pattern for the humming burb. I love it. Honestly, this one is uh, maybe my favorite burb. I don't know. The owl, the barn owl is like, they're just my favorite birds in general or barn owls. I just love them. I think they're so cute. So it's really a toss up. It's a toss up. That is a fat burb. Three more, three more rounds down to about here. Three rounds we've done are about to there. So if we double it to that length and then we decrease it down. Cause I think if he's like this tall, you know, little feet there, little wings here. Oh my God, this is gonna be so funny. I can't wait. I'm so excited to see it finished. The head shouldn't be too difficult. Uh, the crown might be a little bit tricky, but the head itself shouldn't be too difficult. We might do a crown on the on this burb, on the inside burb as well, but we'll see. We'll see about that. You gave your yarn to your sister? What are you, crazy? You never release your yarn, mi 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 Maika. Maika. Did I do it right? Is, is that is, did I pronounce your name right? Maika. Never give up your yarn. It's their most precious thing ever. Never release the yarn. Whoa! We almost have a hundred people watching the live stream right now. Hey, everybody who's watching the live stream, thanks for watching. You should like this video. You should like this video. All right, a few more rounds here. We're gonna have to use like an entire bag of stuffing just to fill this guy up though, which should be funny. I at least wanna get to five rounds, I think, of this single crochet. I might do six though. I don't know. Nah, I don't know. Macaws actually, my Ica, my Ica, got it. Um. Uh, burbs would be a great Christmas gift too, if you have, if you want to make like a, I don't know. I just think this would be a really good Christmas gift to some, give to somebody. They would be like, "What is this?" And you're gonna be like, "You're gonna love this," and then they will, and they're gonna be obsessed. Good Christmas gift is good.
Little wings. Maybe these big wings are good, actually. These, these slightly larger ones here. Because it'll be like that. Oh my gosh, that's hilarious. And then, like, the feet are going to be really tiny, though. <laughs> it's going to be so funny. <laughs> oh, the little feet. I can't wait. Chrissy! Oh my god, Chrissy, thank you so much for your support. Thank you, Chrissy. I really appreciate it. You know what? Let's put out, let's put out burbs for everybody that supports for less than uh, the 15. If you support for more than 15, you get a permanent addition to the background characters. Um, Chrissy, let's see. Chrissy, what kind of burb do you want? In the background and then and then also uh tina what kind of burb do you want in the background let's do um let's do the pigeon let's do a pigeon for tina unless you make a just different decision if you want something different but chrissy you let me know which one you want uh i'm the only reason i'm putting out tina's burb now is because uh it was so long ago and i oh no tina is here tina let me know do you want a different burb than the pigeon in the background for your support Hummingbird, can do, can do, Chrissy. Thanks again for your support. All right, so this is Chrissy Jr. You know what, I just realized, do women, like, you know when like you name, you know like how people will name their kid, like, like if I had a kid named Louis or Louie, I'd call it Louie Jr. Does that happen? That doesn't happen with with women, I just realized. Like no one no one names their kid like like Chrissy. Would you name your kid like Chrissy Jr.? I don't think so, right? That's kind of weird. Why don't we do that? Or why do we do it for guys and not I don't know. That's weird. That's weird. That's weird. That's weird. You have heard of it? Okay, maybe I'm just, I just don't know. The bird with the baguette. Monsieur Quack? You want to have Monsieur Quack? Eh, oui, 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 oui. Nupu, nupu. Uh, 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 I don't know how to say put down, Monsieur Quack. Monsieur Quack for Miss Tina. Bologna Junior. <laughs> yeah, it's never Junior, right? You know Juniors that are females, Amy? Okay, well, I'm a doofus that doesn't know things. But what's new? We all knew I didn't know things. Except for me. I didn't know that I didn't know things. Hence the fact that I didn't know things. You know? Yeah, we don't really do that the second or anything anymore, you know? I don't know anybody who has a kid that's named their kid, like, James the Second. I feel like that ended, like, a generation or two ago. And I don't know if we're going to see that very much anymore, which is also super interesting. But again, maybe I'm wrong. Maybe people are naming, maybe there's a lot more, you know, second, thirds in generations. Okay. Now, do we want to start decreasing it down now to go in? Because I think if we want it to be about that long. Yeah, you know what? We should start decreasing it down. I don't think we need it. Let's let's hold it up with the picture to frame everything to see what it looks like. There's that, and there's that. Well, actually, yeah, I think we can start decreasing it. I think we can. So we'll do one round of decreasing now, and uh, the first round of decreasing is going to be nice because it'll be like pretty small like a small round of decreasing but lavender orc yo how you doing lavender orc oh you having a problem hearing me is anybody else having a problem hearing me right now or is it just casey 
And what's the problem with hearing me? Is Do I sound weird? Like, do I sound crackly? Or is it, like, really quiet? Let me know. Lavender Orc, you're doing well. All right, Coolio, Coolio. I'm doing pretty good. I've had a pretty rough week, not gonna lie, but you know what? Today's a little bit better. Looks like it's just you, Casey. Ah, got it. Leaf Sauce. Leaf Sauce helped you out. Perfect. Thanks for your help, Leaf Sauce. That was nice of you. Hey, thanks for everybody for being super cool and nice and chill in the chat. I appreciate everybody being uh, very nice to each other. I mean, everybody always, like, usually is very nice to each other, but it's still nice to see. You know what I mean? Jelly bean. That's where it's going to be starting to decrease it down. Yeah, I think that's good. Especially because when it's stuffed, it's going to be, it's going to look even bigger, which will be funny. Oh my gosh. And then giving it a little, oh my gosh, this is going to be so fun. The good thing is this is definitely like the most time consuming part is what we're crocheting right now. The head and adding the crown and stuff. That shouldn't be crazy time consuming. This part's just like tedious. Single crochet, single crochet, single crochet. Space Jam DVD, Space Jam DVD. You know what I mean? <laughs> All right, is this my last stitch here? Last stitch effort. That should be something. I'm going to remember that. Last stitch effort. Oh Lord, he coming. That's right. Cheryl, you, you betrayer. Cheryl's a betrayer, everybody. No, I'm just kidding. She's just learned hand, learning how to knit. That's cool. Hundred people watching. That's awesome. Hey everybody. Huh, Chrissy. Yeah, I definitely can like crochet on autopilot now. It's definitely part of the one of one of my talents. I can crochet on autopilot. I can I guess that's pretty much it. Oh actually I can play Super Smash Brothers really well. Those are my two like biggest talents. Um, and I can crack my bones well. Wow, I'm like actually super talented. Now that I think about it, I take it back. I'm extremely talented and I can do so many crazy things like crack my back and play Super Smash Brothers and crochet. But I mean, only those three, but still like, wow. What a talent. <laughs> I'm all, and, I'm, and I'm okay at ping pong. I'm not I'm not like a pro or anything. I'm, I'm not very good actually. Actually, I'm pretty bad, but I can play ping pong So another great talent of mine just add it to the list Ping pong super smash brothers cracking my bones and crocheting Yeah, I think that's about it though Yep, yeah. yep yeah. One, two, three, four, five, boom. Four, five, and then our decrease. Five, and then our decrease. Yeah, look at that, we're cruising. Cheryl's 
Cheryl, yeah, you can't give up crocheting. Never. You're hooked for life. <laughs> yeah, I haven't learned how to knit yet. I'm honestly, there's a few things that like I haven't learned simply because I'm really afraid I'm just gonna really like it. <laughs> Isn't that funny? One of the things is I got a 3D printer last year for my birthday and I still haven't used it. And the reason I haven't used it is because I'm, I'm scared. I'm scared I'm going to like it too much and I'm not going to want to stop using it. And I'm going to use it for everything. And that might be true. But that's no reason to not do it. You know what I mean? Bing, bong, bong, bong. All right. Our boy's starting to shrink now. He's starting to shrink in a good way. He's got so much heft to him. Oh my gosh. This, oh my gosh, it's so dumb. I love, I love how stupid this is. Okay. Wings. Let's add our widow wings. They're gonna be like this about that high up, right? About that placement on the body. Is that too, okay, so here's my question for the wings. Do we, do we instead, do we make our wings like this big or do we do our, oopsies, I'm sorry, I'm sorry, I'm sorry, let me fix that. Sorry, hold on, hold on, I'm gonna fix you guys. Nope, no, oh man, I really, I really, I really goofed it. I've really goofed it, you guys. There. Okay, do we make our wings, or do we do our little wings like these? Do we do little tiny ones, like even tinier? And do it, I mean, I'll have to like recrochet them, but that's what it'll look like with little itty bitty wings. You can kind of barely, you know, get an idea of what that'd be like, little wings. Or our big fat honker wings that are not actually not that big. I feel like the bigger wings, I don't know, guys. I don't know. I mean, regardless, we want a big one of these for the tail. So there's that. Yes, I do typically sew on features before stuffing, usually. Okay, so we're looking, okay, Leaf Sauce thinks we are on, we, we should do little wings, okay? Okay, little wings. Anybody else? The wings are perfect size, but smaller would be funnier. I mean, that's the golden word right there. Funnier is is what we're going for here. Tiny wings. My Ica wants tiny wings too. Christina! <laughs> Thank you, Christina. Welcome to the live stream. Hey, if you're new to, if you're just popping into the live stream uh, and you haven't yet, please like this video. Uh, if we get enough likes, we'll do, we'll keep the giveaway train a going. We are doing five giveaways in today's live stream though. So there's quite a lot for our birthday. So I put all the information in the description though. So if you want to enter the giveaway or get the free macaw pattern, that's only free today only, go there to learn more. Okay, so we got little wings, little wings, little wings. Is anybody saying big wings? No, pretty much not. Yeah, okay. We're gonna remake these wings tiny. Itsy bitsy tiny wings. Sounds good. This sounds good to me. I am I am happy. I'm happy with the smaller wings. I will have to recrochet them, but that is okay for joke. For joke, I am happy with tiny. Yes, tiny wings for extra chunkiness. Exactly. Two otters gets it. Two waters understands the wing situation. One. Let's just finish this round of decreasing. And then I'll get to the tiny wings. I also need to go get that super strong magnet, so. We're gonna do that in a sec too, once we get our body parts sewn on. Uh, all right, that's the last round. Or that's the last stitch, rather. Oh, yeah. 
You are a good chunky boy. Me? <laughs> Wait. Me? I'm a good chunky boy? Yes, you are. Oh, wow. Thank you so much. <laughs> I'm going to do the big tail. We're going to do a big one for the tail and then little ones for the wings. Yeah. Okay, so let me, uh, I got to pull the yarn out from the center of this now because, see, we're running out. But also, you know, we're using that end. So we got to pull from the center. All right. Little wings. Oh, no. Our warriors. Our soldiers. Defending our king. They're down. We need to, we need to fix them. No, stop it. There you go. Good boys. How does the giveaway work? What happens if you win? This is probably my first giveaway I'm joining. Okay, so here's how it works. Basically, it's just a form where I'm asking you a couple questions where it's like, what's your favorite burb? And uh, and like, what patterns do you want me to do next year? Stuff like that. But how the giveaway works is you just fill out the form. I'm gonna choose five people at random for to see who wins. I'll probably do it like next week is when I'll, um, like early next week is when I'll choose a winner, the winners at random. Uh, those winners are gonna win a free five month uh, membership to Club Crochet, but I'm gonna be, um, uh, let's see, wait, did I do that wrong? Hold on, hold on, hold on. I need to pull up this, I need to pull up the pigeon pattern because I'm forgetting how it works. Hold on. Dude, I get so many political emails. It's insane. It's like, shut up. The vote, why are you emailing me? Anyhow. It's like, I'm not going to give you money. Stop asking. Okay. Pigeon. Pigeon pattern. I should give him elephant feet. <laughs> no, Mickey, we can't have a mutant be the king of burbs. What are you crazy, dude? Crazy, dude. All right, let me let me just see where we're at here. We did single half double chain one. Okay, you're not crazy, Mickey. I'm sorry, I didn't mean it by like that. It's not a bad idea but he is a burb and he has to have burb like features. Don't push it one. Okay, so this is the little wing. And then double, okay. All right, let me see what this looks like. The form is in the chat, Lavender Orc. It's pinned to the top of the chat. If you look at the top of the chat, it'll it'll be pinned there. And also, uh, Cooper just added it to the chat too. But it's also in the description of this video. So if you want to get it there, that's where it also is. Okay, this is what a little wing looks like, by the way. So let's let's just imagine before I go and make another one of these and make sure that we're happy with these little wings. I have a feeling we will be though. Okay, little wing. Go ahead, here, I got pins here. Little wing like this. Okay, so that's what a little tiny wing would look like. Itsy bitsy, teeny tiny wing. Oh yeah, that's actually, no, that's that's hilarious. No, I, it, I don't need to ask. I already know, this is the way we're doing it. That's too funny. This is too funny. We might have to work with the pad. We might have to build a pattern for this onyx. We might. Big turtle nerd. How you doing, big turtle nerd? Okay, little wings. Real quick, look at how fast I am at making these wings. It's crazy. Speed.
speed running. I almost broke that yarn. Got to be careful. All right, let's add these wings to the body. Thread the center first. I think we'll sew them on simultaneously so that way we know that they're both sewn on in like a similar spot. So we're gonna go, one of them will go like right here. No, that's too, I think it needs to be more on the side. So right here maybe. Let's see how that looks. Yes, yes, yes. Okay, we need a, we need a head just so we can see what he looks like with a head on, even though I know this head's gonna be different. This doesn't count, okay? Just ignore the head. It just needs to know just for wing placement. Ignore the head. It's not the right one, I promise. And I think the wings need to be tilted down just a little bit like that. Yes. And then, yeah. Yeah, that's a good placement for the wing. Okay. Other side wing, let's thread the middle first. Michelle, is there any turtle patterns? Not yet, but there will be. Man, you are obsessed with things that are shell related, Michelle. Is it because of your name? I'm just kidding, because you said snail earlier and I have not turtle. Okay, other wing on this side, right here. Oh no, our, our, our warriors, our powerful warriors are down. We're a fragile, we're a fragile kingdom right now. Anybody can come and attack at any point because of our, because our warriors can't stand up right. No. Stay. Good boys. All right. <laughs> From the eyes down. One, two, three, four, five. From the eyes down one two three four five maybe right here no maybe right here all right let's see how that looks wings wings yes 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 all right cool that'll work we're gonna go one we're gonna make him slightly tilted upwards just to like help with the look so that you can see them when you're looking at our fat king straight on. Like that. Right? That's right. That is a, oh my, you guys, you guys, I love this. one wing and here's gonna be the next wing up one I think it was up one yes like that over there okay is this mine this is minecraft music I didn't know that, but that is cool. I've played a little bit of Minecraft. I haven't played that much, but I do like it. It's such a chill game until it's spooky and you run into a creeper and then you die and then you're like, damn it, I need to go back and get all my crap again. Yeah, I've only, I've probably only played Minecraft like for like 20 or so hours. I've built like a, you know, a kingdom or something. Not a kingdom, probably, but yeah. You get what I'm saying. OK. 
Okay. Double knot our little wings. One. Two. Okay, I can't wait till we have the main part of our burb done so we can add details. Like, oh. <laughs> That is so funny. That is so freaking funny. We'll do the little tail back here. Oh my god, that's too funny. That's so funny. If you already have a membership, you'll get a giveaway. Or you'll get a gift card. Or an extension to your membership without paying. Oh, that's so funny. Like that. Too funny. Okay. Okay, we need this perfectly on the back, so probably like right here. No, let's do one stitch up like right there. All right, let's see how that looks. And then we'll go like that. We might just have the tail like sticking straight out. That's okay though. Sometimes I have it sticking straight up, but we're not going to do that in this one. You know what be cool? Okay, so I have this like neat system on the website. I mean, okay, so I'm, gonna, I'm saying this the caveat because I won't be able to do this right away. But it would be cool, and I've always wanted to implement this this thing on my website that I can do. <sighs> our, our, our soldiers are sleeping on our job on the job and it's, and it's really, it's just really pathetic. You guys, you need to wake up, get up and get to work. So, so frustrating. Yes, 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 yes. I love this. Okay. Um, anyhow, I've got this thing built in onto the website where uh, you can like unlock patterns. I call it untangling patterns. So like if you were to crochet, let's say for example, you were to crochet a, uh, a rocket and like a, a spaceman, you could unlock David Bowie because you crocheted, you know, Rocket Man, the song. Anyhow. It would be cool on the website to make this a pattern so that when you crochet like three burbs, you unlock king burb, the king burb pattern, so you can actually crochet the king burb too. That could be pretty fun. I won't be able to do that, but it'd be pretty fun. I'll be able to do it eventually, but not right now. I've got too many, I got too many ideas. Okay, we're gonna pin you guys together. Going straight through the head. Pop, pop. Get him, get him, like that. There we go. That holds them together a little bit better. Okay, feet. Time to crochet feet. They can't respect the king, exactly. Do we have uh, Emerald Turtle? Hi, Emerald Turtle. Welcome to the stream. Do uh, have we created a peacock burb yet? Not yet. We'll have a peacock burb. Um, I like. I'm. I'm thinking that's going to be one of the patterns next year when we do our burb day next year. So, yes. But I mean, we have ten different burb patterns, so I think we're doing all right. You know what I mean? Now, I'm not making the feet any bigger than normal because tiny little feet on this burb just has to happen, right? Like, little bitty itty feet. Oh, that's too, this is gonna be freaking, this is gonna be hilarious.
And then when we put these like super strong magnets in there too, oh my God, that's gonna be so funny. So that we'll, we'll stick him to stuff and it'll be like so strong that it's actually actively difficult to get him off of things. That's gonna be funny. It's, it's gonna be difficult to dethrone him. <laughs> I'm mad with power, you guys. I'm mad with burb power. Oh, we don't need these wings no more. We get rid of these wings now. Woo, bye. Clean it up later. The dynamoles. I love it. That's a great idea, Lavender Orc. I love that idea. Uh, yes. Yes, yes, yes. I like that idea a lot. Okay, so we need to go somewhat low on the feet. So we're gonna go like here. Actually, let's go out more, like here. So it's basically in between the wings and the, actually, you know what? I want it one over. So we'll go here, this side. That is one foot for sure. And then the other one right here. Oh. Alright, sorry, I know I was really quiet there for a sec. Oh dang it, I made that foot too tight. Did I? Yes, oh crap. Okay, hold on, we gotta redo this foot. Man, I was all focused and everything, I messed it up. <laughs> Oops, that's okay. It's like the smallest thing. Let's make a new foot. All right. Whew. Don't forget the coins. Well, I don't know if we're going to do coins. I mean, actually, maybe we will. I don't know. I'll think. I, I, let me think. Let me think. Because if we do the coins... Well, they won't be magnetically attached to the thing. So I, I just think that the super strong magnet will cover us as far as weight goes. So we won't need the coins anymore. I mean, we should definitely put a coin in him because it's like he's made of money. But we don't need to fill him with $20 of quarters anymore, which is what I was originally thinking. Like we fill him with a bunch of quarters. I'll tell you what, how about we fill him with as many quarters worth of donations or, or tips. So if you tip or have tipped, I will add a quarter into this big 
long pigeon for you. It does. It can be twenty five cents for the tip, but you should provide provide the provide how much you guys want this guy to be filled with uh, quarters. The outside basically lined up, and then the outside basically lined up. Yeah, I think this should be fine. Oh my god, you could so put a tennis ball and then you could bounce them on the ground. That's hilarious. Great idea. We could just fill them with knickknacks in general. <laughs> so is that the right placement for the foot before I sew it on? Yes, okay. Gosh. There we go. Last mess ups. Please. So there's one, two, three. So we got three quarters so far. That's good. I gotta grab my quarters too. <laughs> yes, 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 yes. Okay. Now we can keep sewing it closed. I don't know, but I don't know what squishmallows really are, if I'm being honest. I think they're like stuffed things, right? That you can buy. If you want him to be a cannibal, Emerald Turtle thinks he should be a cam cannibal. There you go. We're gonna go not broken. Not broke. Three, we should make a burb hat. That would be funny. That's a great idea. Very good idea. Decrease down. Decrease down. Three. Okay, stuff them a little bit. He's gonna need a lot of stuffing in general though. But here, we got a little bit of stuffing now. Okay, got my quarters. We got one quarter for Cooper. Thank you for your support, Cooper. We got one quarter for Tina. Thank you for your support, Tina. And we got one quarter for Chrissy. Thank you for your support, Chrissy. You have funded this burb with three quarters. Oh ho ho, big turtle nerd adding the quarter. We got a dollar's worth a quarter in our burb. <laughs> Thank you for funding the burb. Oh. Oh no, that's Chrissy. Okay, got it. Cool. So I don't know if it's just me, but you can't watch the YouTube video for the macaw. Oh, that might be my fault. I might have I think I messed it up. Um I'll I'll fix that after the live stream. Re, that's totally gotta be my bad. I don't wanna put a baby burb in there. I don't even have a baby burb to put in there. I'd have to make one. 
You want to do like this? You want a burb in the burb like that? Well, now that's not a terrible idea. Now, hmm. Now that ain't the worst idea I've ever heard. You want a little burb in our burb that's controlling the burb who's controlling the rest of the burbs? A golden egg! Okay, wait, let's do one more round of decreasing as I think this through. Stop this madness! <laughs> Yeah, that's the problem with adding this other burb. If we add another burb in here, guys, it's in there permanently. We're not gonna ever see this burb again. He will forever be within this burb. King burb will have swallowed another burb and, and be stuffed with him permanently. The eyebrow, okay, you know what? We're asking the group, we're asking. We're asking you guys, you tell me what the deal is. We're doing a poll. All right, community asked, let me know what you think. Are we stuffing our burb with another burb? Your answers can be either duh or no, that poor burb. <laughs> Sunshine, what was your idea? Make it a finger puppet with the baby burb comes out. I don't think we can because, I mean, I have to make a very tiny other little burb. I mean, I can do a finger puppet version. That's that's not really too big of an issue. Then we can't have a magnet, you know? If we do the burb where it's permanently in there, then we can have it still have its magnet and he can be like angled on different things. It'll be easier for us to make him a throne, stuff like that. So that's the hard part. If we add this other burb in there, and also I'm not crocheting a whole nother burb to put in this burb. I'm not making a tiny one for this burb. I'm making this size one. Oh boy. We're, we're gonna need to choose this soon though because we are, I'm cutting it close now. Now's our chance. We could put a baby burb on the king burb's shoulder, like a little evil, that's a great idea, Cooper. We could do like a little tiny one on his shoulders that's like whispering in his ear saying, giving him bad feedback. We got, we only have 38 votes on this burb situation on the head. So we need more feedback there, ASAP. I'm going for, let's try to aim for a 50 votes at least before we make our decision. In the meantime, I can stuff him a little bit and get prepared on our head. I think for the head, we're gonna do purple yarn for the main part of the head. Uh, we'll need white for the eyes, of course. We'll do a unibrow in black. And I actually already made another beak for it because we want to have a bigger beak on him so I mean we can just continue on oh you have been absolutely bested onyx people are saying no that poor burb all around no one wants a poor burb in the burb I apologize onyx Okay, we're gonna get a super strong magnet. I'm gonna be right back. Um, I'm just gonna do, yeah, I'll be right back. I'm just gonna get a, another bird magnet, uh, the big strong one. It's in the other room though, so I'll be right back. Um, we'll leave this big guy here in the meantime. Uh, and yeah, I'll be right back.
Okay, can you see me? I'm back. Hello, hi everybody. Okay, so this is what I got. This insanely strong magnet, like no joke, this thing is so, like, it's so heavy, crazy, crazy heavy, and an insanely strong magnet. If I get any other magnet close to this one, I can't get another magnet out, off of it without a special tool. So this is what we're stuffing them with. We're going straight in the bum like that before we sew it closed. Add a little bit of extra stuffing and this guy will be unstoppable. You can't, you, we won't be able to dethrone him. We will not be able to dethrone him. Cool. Uh, so let's keep crocheting around. I'm just gonna put it right here and try not to get it close to any other magnets or my computer or he'll ruin it'll ruin everything We need at least one more round of decreasing though so that before we sew it closed A lot of people saying golden a golden egg oh, fine. I can do a golden egg Hold on, I need to get my special gold yarn. That's a that's a pretty small ask, so I can do that. that down all right we only have one more round of decreasing we should still be able to fit our giant magnet in there it's a close it's a tight fit but we can make it work we'll need to make our golden egg real quick okay this is ultra special yarn by the way guys this is how important this is this is my super special yarn that me and my fiance made our crocheted and knit um, wedding rings from. So it is special. Just so you understand that he's getting a very special golden egg added to him. I know he's a key. Yeah. One. What about his nest? Oh, he'll have a crown. Oh, don't worry. He'll have a crown. We still got to make his head. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, no. We still have more live stream to go, guys. One, two, three, four, five, six. I have a feeling we're going to be going to like six or seven tonight. One, two, three, four, five, six. But let's go ahead and make his special egg first. That we'll never see again once we get it in there. I'm just doing a very simple egg pattern. Four. Right here we go. Okay, there's the gold. Make it like this big. It'll be his only heir. Yes, you're right.
hit. Nine. Okay. I'm going to do another round of increasing so it's a little bit bigger. And then we'll do single crochet and then decrease it down. Cool. We got this. We got this. Don't be silly. We got this. One. Two. We still, I mean, we still got to give him like a. Okay, so after doing this and sewing him closed, we're going to need to do his head. Um, I already have kind of part of the heads started to be made. We can use that as our starting base to like save us some time and give us more space for adding things like a, um, what's it called? Uh, a cape and his scepter because I still want to add that too and I feel like if I keep adding things it's just gonna this live stream is gonna go forever and I still have we're, we're leaving tomorrow I haven't packed or anything we're going for a whole week so I can't have this live stream be going to like 9 p.m. three four one, two, three, four. Three, four. Simple egg pattern. That's pretty egg like. We're just going to decrease it down now. If we just decrease it completely and then sew it closed, will that be, yeah, that's fine. Put your initials on the golden egg? No. In what? No. Mm -mm. I don't want to. Two. Three. Five. And six. Are we adding any other quarters to it? No, I guess not. Cool. I'm cool with that. All right. Little egg. Time to stuff it. little egg we're gonna need this for his crown this golden yard for his crown as well all right oh can we put the egg inside the crown no it's gonna be you wanted it stuffed in him Make up your mind, you guys. Egg crown, egg crown, Mickey. All right, egg crown. Wait, so so just so I have clarity, clarification on what we want to do with this egg. We want to make it, so we have our egg now. You want to make it so that our crown on top of his head has the egg in the center of the crown. Is that correct? 
Do we have that correct? Or do we want it stuffed up, the egg stuffed up into him so that he always has an egg inside of him that he can never release until he dies? What do we think? Those are your choices. You know what, we can do another poll. We can do another poll, let's do another poll. Community asked, boom. Let me know what you think. What, how do you want to do this? In the meantime, I can't stuff him with this, so we'll continue on to the head now. Until we know for sure we're not we're stuffing him with it or not. I can't go backwards on that. So now we get to add the head of our burb. And I kind of think we should continue on from the one we were working on on Thursday, which is gonna be, where did I put that? Okay. Okay. Should we start, should we continue working off of this one? Here's the beak. Well, we need to give him eyes and an eyebrow, but I mean, I think this would totally work. It'll be big and then we'll make it go down. What do we think? I, you know what? I'm just going to continue off of this one because that way we don't have to like get started from the beginning and we've gone like we've done a pretty okay amount already for this head. It's basically the pigeon's head. So I'll do a, I think I need like another round of single crochets. Yeah, okay. We're gonna give his head an extra bit of plumage too, because he is a royalty. So he'll need a little bit extra plumage on his head. Cool. Thanks, Lizzie. I agree. It'll save us some time too. Since it is already five, we've been going for two hours. Glad you guys agree. I'm just gonna go ahead and sew on this beak now. Um, by the way, if you're wondering how this beak was made, it's from the uh, the the seagull pattern. It's the beak for this from the seagull pattern. And I'm just sewing it on top of a spiked bobble that I made. Okay. 
It's gonna be like up to there. We're gonna do like. <laughs> so good. So good. Oh, uh, the vote. What was it? All right, so it should sit in the crown. Okay, cool. Understood. We have made our choice. So we don't need to stuff them with the egg. We can instead finish them up and stuff them closed. So we'll swap back to this guy. Um, we need to... I think we need to stuff them a little bit more though. Needs more stuffing. He's a fat boy. He needs his. He's, he's. He needs to be full. Ooh, Michelle, which one do you think we should start with? You're not a beginner, but I want to eventually make them a call. Thanks, Michelle. Start with the hummingbird. It's the new one. It's totally free, uh, and uh, it's a good one to get you uh, understanding the ways that the wings and the tail and stuff like that work. Once you're done with that, move on to the pigeon. Same deal, it's totally free, and uh, it'll get you into the understanding of how to make bobble stitches for the eyes and things like that. Uh, and then after that, I think you can work on the macaw. So I would say pigeon, or, or hummingbird, pigeon, macaw is a good order of operations. I think we do just a little bit more stuffing. He's got a lot of stuffing him in him though. <laughs> like, a lot. He's like a baseball. And especially with this in it, he's gonna be so heavy. Oh my God, this is gonna be hilarious. Okay, so we're gonna go in there like that. And then we'll crochet around it and then sew it closed. Oh my God. You have no idea how strong this magnet is too. It's like so strong. Okay. One. Did I miss any before I finish this up? No, okay, good. As long as I didn't miss any quarters. One. Two. So he's so heavy. He's so heavy because of that magnet. It's like so heavy. Five. One more. Wait, is this the last one? No, no, no. One more after this. Sorry. That's five. Oh shoot, I messed that one up. Hold on. There we go. There we go. That's Okay, cut, pull through, and let's sew them closed. Yeah, I agree. That was Jules' idea. The unibrow was Jules' idea. Five. 
down. There we go. Tight. Back in. In through, I don't know, like right, let's come out right here. Does not matter, pull it tight enough. Cut it. <laughs> <laughs> King Burb, you're so big, boy. Oh my God, what a honker. Okay, okay, check this out too. I legit, look at this, okay? Here, look, I'll change the full screen. This is, this will give you an idea of how heavy or how strong this magnet is. I can't, oh, I got it. It's so strong though, watch, ready? It, anyhow, it's really strong, like really strong. He, he can easily hold himself up upside down. So cool. So cool. What a great use of that super strong magnet. All right. King Pigeon's body is done. Let's continue on to on the head. Okay, um, I suppose we should probably add the eyes. I think his eyes should be going out, outward, you know, like, uh, you know, like pigeon and turkey style. Do we want them to be small eyelids or big ones? I'm not sure. How tall do we want his head to be? Like up here? Yeah. Okay, we can do actually a round or two of this while you guys are letting me know what size eyes to make maybe. Do I have any pillow size plushies? I don't, uh, but honestly, if you watch that live stream where we made the giant, uh, the giant, um, ghost. I explained in that, like, if you just use blanket size yarn for any of our patterns, you can make a pillow size plushie pretty much right away with not even a lot of stitches involved. So yeah, there's your options. Okay. We'll go with this as the, this seems like a good height. We'll go, go like this, because we're definitely going outwards with the eyes. So we want it about right there. Um, I mean, we know confidently that the six millimeters are gonna look good, you know? Because they always do. So let's just go six millimeters. The bigger eyes always make him look like he's like a drug addict. You know, it makes him look like he's, he like got, into some weird bird seed. So we'll do the smaller one instead. There with one eye. And the unibrow is gonna add a lot of, a lot of character to his kingly head. And we'll do little under eyes too, like we did for these guys. So that he can't, he has like a little bit of a, a tired look. I mean, he's been probably been running the kingdom for years. He's probably pretty tired of all these burbs complaints and sending burbs on secret missions and whatnot. Okay. 
So there's that. We'll give them under eyelids. Yeah, of course there's a unibrow on the pigeon's head. There's gonna be one on the other one too. Um, I think this blue will be fine for the under lit eyelids. Bye, Guy. Thanks for joining. Okay. Yeah, I think blue is actually probably pretty good for this under eyelid so that it is like complementing the purple, but it's still its own color, you know? I'm thinking like that for the under eyelids. Yeah, I like that. I like that color. Mickey Cricky thinks she, he should look friendly. Onyx thinks thinks our king should be angry. You know, rule with rule with a a, uh, a sign of force. I think we can do somewhere right in the right in between the two. So you're you're just not really sure how he's feeling. But I do like the under eyelids. I always like adding extra detail to eyes. I feel like every single time I do, it adds just so much more to the character of the piece. Eyelids specifically, just adding a little bit of eyelid stuff really goes a long way for, for characterizing your pieces. There's my little tip for you. All right, I'm gonna double it there. You know, give it makes him look a little older, which is nice too. He's probably an old, you know, he's probably been running the, the Burb Empire for millennia. I, who knows how long Burbs live? Any ideas? I assume they are like elves. They don't die unless someone kills them. <laughs> Burbs are forever. So that's, I like that under eyelid. Let's do this side. Really, I don't really have too much of a problem fastening the, the safety eyes. As long as you don't get those like really hard plastic safety eyes, it usually is okay. If my like my hands can handle it. I like the idea of, of our king being a little crazy, which I think these under eyelids are adding a little bit of craziness to him. And we should probably go with black with the unibrow since his unibrow up here is also black. We'll do that. Okay. Oh, great point, FIFO. You're right. Burbs probably do live very different lifespans depending on the species. Yep, absolutely. So we're gonna start here with the eyebrow. Let's see. We kind of want it to go like unibrow, unibrow like that. Kind of. Yes, 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 yes. Which means we just really need it to be like connected right there and connected right here. Which is nice because it's pretty much exactly like the un the eye on the underside too. Let's see.
actually. Yeah, like pretty much exactly like that. Because now we get the opportunity to make him look questioning if we want. We can change it however much we want. We can make him look angry. We can make him look kind of friendly. And maybe it's actually sewn down a little bit too high up there. Let's undo that. Oopsies. Almost messed up my white situation. Okay, let's try let's actually just try this one more time with the eye. Or with the unibrow. Because I have another I want to make it just a little bit higher up. So we'll go right there instead. Right, this other eye goes over here. Yes, just like that. That's a good eye. That's a good unibrow, I think. Then the crown on top. We could make the unibrow a little, little thicker, but I think it's all right. All right. Eyebrow added. We'll do the crown after we finish the head. So we'll finish up the head now. I'm gonna decrease it down just a little bit. One, two, four, five. So the head's gonna be bigger at the top than it is on the bottom, which will be kind of fun, I think. We'll see. Four, three, four, boom, one, two, three, four, good. Plumage, All right? So layer of plumage here, and then a few more rounds, and then the last plumage to make him about that high up. Oh shoot, will he fit? Will the head fit on this? Yeah, it'll probably fit. I mean, these ones are the same size, so yeah, that should fit fine. I don't know. Do I want to do plumage here? Yeah, sure. All right, let's do it. Two. I mean, we can always undo it, so.
The head is giving you angry burb vibes. Yeah, I guess because of the unibrow, huh? First layer of plumage done. Cool. I mean, even that's pretty cute. But we'll do, we'll make it bigger. Hey Cooper, yeah, maybe we can try. We can definitely try to do a reindeer burb this this holiday season. I mean, reindeer bonimal. I do have like I just have like so much that's going on that it's kind of scary to add other things on top of it. But I can try. I can try. I will do my best. Oh wait, is that it? Okay, wait. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14. No, there should be one more. Oh, there is one more. It's just hidden in the back. Got it. And then we continue on. Two. Cool. Plumage. Oh, we still got to figure out the scepter part too. Maybe the egg should go at the end of the scepter. Well, let's see how the crown comes out first. much bigger do we want this head to be? <laughs> Actually, I, I think that might be long enough for our head. What do you guys think? Do you think we should make it any longer? I mean, I'll do an, I'm going to do a little round of more plumage here. But I think it actually works like that as far as like the height of the head. We could do one more round, so it's about that high up. So it's a little bit higher. I don't know. I don't know. What do you think? Higher up head, or is that good? Emma thinks that the head is a perfect size. And I appreciate you, Emma. Uh, in the meantime, while you guys are debating that... I'm going to get the crown started here. Okay, a lot of people are saying the head's perfect, and I love that. Also, Charlotte, I love your name. That is one of my favorite names, so congratulations on having such a great name. One, two, three, four, five, six. Nine... It's 
go with that big. That for the crown as the start. It's gonna obviously get bigger. Yeah, let's go with that as the part of the start of the crown. One. Let's see how many single crochets we can get around this. Two, three, four. I'm gonna let that go now though. Five, six, seven, eight. We can go to 12, hopefully. Nine, 10, 11. Yeah, cool. 12. Okay, that's good because it'll be, won't be too tiny of a crown. Yes, 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 that's perfect. We'll go one, two. Okay, wait, so if we want this to be, how tall of a crown do we want too? Do we want it to be really tall? I mean, it's gonna have to sit the egg, right? So we want it to be a little taller. Okay, let's just do two rounds of single crochet and then I can start doing the shaping part. Head looks good size, head's perfect. Okay, great. Everybody thinks the head looks like a good size. Cool. Now we'll do, now we'll start shaping this. So if I, it's 12 stitches around right now, and I want it to have six points. So that means that every other stitch needs a point. So we're gonna go, we'll go, we're, we're not doing the points yet, but we're gonna start shaping so that we can get to the size of the points. So one, two, and then the point would be there, three. Yeah, that works. Or do we do less? Huh? Maybe. Just starting to get a little bit of pointiness to the size of this crown. This is a nice chill song. Kind of sounds like I'm in the cafe at an Animal Crossing. Last one right here is a half double crochet. Right. Right. Okay, now let's do the points. I think I'm gonna do, let's just try, let's just try with single crochets and doing an increase. So it's like here and then this will be, I mean, nah, let's try, let's try the half doubles. We'll do a half double crochet in that and then we'll do a point. One, two, pull tight, slip stitch in the first chain like that. And then another half double crochet in the same stitch. That's my idea for the crown. Like that. So it'll be like opened a little bit, but that's gonna be perfect. If, especially if we decide that we want the egg in here. That'll be perfect. One, and then here's another point. Oopsies. Messed that stitch up. Let's do it again. All right, wait, there we go, okay. Yeah, defo point time. Thanks, thanks, Lizzie. I agree. Lizzie, you're such a great hype man, hype woman, hype person. Yeah. <laughs> 
it'll be funny because the crown's going to be kind of like opened up like a flower, which will be, I don't know. I just think it'll be cute. We'll have to add the rubies to the crown too. Don't forget, we still need to make his scepter and his cape. Oops. There we go. Sorry I haven't been talking as much. This part's a little bit complicated, so I've been focusing a little tighter or harder. It's almost done. That's a good crown though, right? That's gonna be perfect. Yeah, I'm not sure, how are we gonna make the scepter, I wonder? I've got, I've got a, actually, I've got an idea. Well, we, we might use a pipe cleaner to make the scepter. Okay, last point. Just doing just a single there. Okay. Let's hide this end in. We're sewing this to the head, so we don't need to, like, yeah, so we don't need to worry about it, like, falling off, so we're just gonna sew it on to the head. Someone's calling me. Sorry, mom, I'm in the live stream. I told her I was in a live stream. I, we talked like right before this. What a goof. She probably just thinks it's over. So this will be right here. Like that. We'll have to add the rubies before we sew it on. But I think it's a pretty good, I mean, what if we do it tilted? No, probably just straight up. It will fit. Okay, now I know you want the scepter to have the egg. However, however, an idea, just an idea, is that the egg can sit perfectly in that crown really, really well. So we'll have options. All right, let's add some rubies. We need bright red. Just a little bit of bright red. I'm just gonna embroider these on. We're gonna embroider them like this. Which one's the back? Let's start back in the back. I'm just gonna go down and I'll just double it, triple it, whatever. But we're just gonna basically do little diamonds. Like this, one, two, let's do three. And then we'll just do that all the way around so that way he's got little rubies on the ends on the in the crown.
that. Right? Yeah, I like that. I like that a lot. Yeah, we might end up having to make rubies for the crown too. I don't know. I don't know. Oh wait, shoot, is that supposed to be down further? It is actually. that right yes okay oh I love that I love that oh my god that's so simple and really cute Oh, that's gonna look so good. Oh my God, guys. This might end up being like one of my favorite live stream creations that we've ever made. Which is saying something because Long Pigeon is right here looking at us like, uh, dude, what about me? I'm like, yeah, you were amazing, but this is the king. And if I hear you besmirching him again, I'm gonna let him know. And you know how he can be. Extremely forgiving, so. <laughs> No, I don't know. Does the Burb King is the Burb King extremely forgiving or not? I have a feeling you know any king any good king knows when to be when to when to be merciful and when not to be, right? Any good king There. Okay, last ruby. I'm actually just going to use it to sew it into the body so that I can hide this these two ends on the inside. I don't have like a loose thread on that. That sounds like a good idea. Dang, that is legit like a super good crown. Isn't it? That's like super good. Okay. <laughs> I mean, like look at it on this one. Oh my god, that's such a good crown. Okay, cool. All right, now we just need to sew it on to the head. We still have to finish the head up too. Actually, you know, what? let's let's switch it back over. We'll finish this head up and then we'll sew the crown on. And then we can add our last finishing touches, our cape and our scepter and things like that. My mom left me a voicemail. Do we give our Burb King a name? Is he King something? Or is he just the Burb King? Maybe he maybe he relinquishes any names or titles. Uh, when when a bird becomes king, they relinquish relinquish all titles so that there are only King Burb. Now there's an idea.
A bonosaur or bar a bonosaur for sure. If I were to choose one, bon bonosaur. Just to look, great, great, great. I'm gonna hide this in just a little bit better. So we don't have to worry about the king's head coming apart. Back of the crown is right here, I believe. So this would be near the front of the crown. So we're gonna go right there. Dang, where the heck did I pull that in? There we go, got it. Okay, man, it is pitch dark outside. I started this when it was light out. Where did the day go? Okay, let's get this end just starting to sew on and then I'll thread the other two red parts in there. So we're gonna go, yeah, cause these red ones are, red ones are in the way. We want this sewn on like that. Just hold it in place. We'll find out where this stitch goes. See if we're going like right here-ish. Let's come out through a stitch over like, uh, let's go like right here for right now. We'll probably fix that later. Okay. Now these two ends we definitely need on the inside. We'll go one here. And we can actually just double knot these red ones together when we get it in there. Once we are sure that we like the placement of everything because I can use the gold one to really solidify where the, how the head crown is getting sewn on. So we don't have to worry too much about placement here. Probably. Possibly. Let's go right there. Cool. So we got red in there, red in there. I'll just go ahead and double knot these in there just so I don't have to worry about them. I think as far as the name goes, um, I think what I'm gonna do is I'll post this verb later this week on Instagram and YouTube and stuff and I'll, I'll ask for name suggestions and then I'll have you guys vote in a poll later this week on what name we're giving our verb. King. It has to be a royal name though. Let's try this again. Actually, you know what? Do we even need to try this again? This red, this red, the ruby yarn is really messing with us because I didn't make one end of this. I wouldn't made one end smaller than the other. It's getting on my nerves. Okay, wait. There we go. I 
hate accidentally making ends too short and having to like double knot them together using like barely any end the waist. Get out of here, gold. Don't let go, don't let go. I said don't let go, Lewis. Ugh. <laughs> okay. okay. We don't need that tight, we just need it double knotted. So that it doesn't come out. There, Whew. Oh my gosh, that was annoying. Okay, we still need the gold. Cut this red one and let that just be loose in there. Okay, that's fine. It's a little loose, but it doesn't matter because the gold's really what's gonna be sewing it on anyhow. Whew. Here. Good. Almost done with the sewing part of the crown. Okay. Pretty good. Do one last bit right here. So we'll do this part two. There. Okay, that should be sewn on tight enough. A little messy in the back, but whatever. What are you gonna do? Really good in the front, though. That's what's important. Okay. That's a good crown. All right, let's double knot these two ends. And be done with our crown. And move on to the cape, which we definitely should do a fuzzy red for the cape, I think. So I'm gonna go grab that. It's just right there, so it's not like I'm going far. Cool, all right. Let's stuff this a little bit. The head needs to be a little bit stuffed, but not like crazy. All hail the king! Oh, it is Louis. Yeah, it is Louis. There we go. My name, by the way, is what I'm talking about. All right. Kingbird is getting there. All right, let me get the, oh my God, he looks so good though. Wow. Wow, okay. I need a uh, armor fuzzy maroon. Right? For his, for his cape. 
We got that one, or I have another one. Never mind. Never mind, I don't have another one. It's it's this fuzzy red. That's what I think we'll use. And we'll just do like flat, uh, like straight up single, or not single crochets. Maybe we'll half double crochets, but we're just gonna do it, it pretty straight forward. I'm adding just a lot of extra so we have something to sew it with. This isn't purple enough. Pretty purple. With a classic white. Oh, really? You don't think fuzzy red? Okay. All right, let's let's ask. Let's ask everybody. No, you know what? I no. I'm, I'm making an executive decision here. I think we should do this. I mean, I do like the idea of doing white at the base of it, though. I do like this idea, though. Fuzzy white, and then it goes to fuzzy red. I don't know how we're gonna beat this next year either. I gotta say, this is a this is a pretty pretty top notch burb, if you ask me. One, two. Oh, you know what? We can do this. Wait, wait, wait. We can do we can do the fuzzy as the main part, right? And then we'll we can add the we can add the fuzzy white afterwards. We don't have to do it same fell swoop. We also need this end to be really long. Like that. One, two, three, four, five, six, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, 15 coffee and crochet hello So this long 15 And we'll make it go a little bit smaller as it gets higher up. Let's go 16 17 Yeah, let's do that 17 uh, And then so it'll only be 16 long that's big that works one Two This needs to go through it like that. Wow. Then we can go 16. Cool. Now I'm gonna start adding a lot of height to it. And I'm gonna work around this for just the first stitch. One. Turn right, yeah, one. Two. You know, we should decrease it actually. And then we'll decrease in. Two. That works, okay.
All right, nice, nice, nice. This is going well, guys. This one, and then this one, like that, and then a half double. Great. Yes, yes, yes. Our cape is coming together quite nicely. We're going to keep it decreasing down, though. It's 9 p.m. over there. Here it is 6 p.m. So, yeah, this is a long live stream, I know. But, I mean, it is our burb day, so it's, like, kind of understandable. But once we do this and then add a scepter, we are going to be calling it for today. Hey, also, if you came into this live stream late, make sure to like and subscribe. Also, there's a giveaway going on right now. If you want to a chance to win a free five-month membership, just go to clubcrochet.com slash giveaway. I left the link at the top of the chat. Also, um, the macabre pattern is free today. So if you want to make the macabre, it's a brand new pattern on the website. And it is free, today only. So go get it. Oh shoot, I was supposed to get that through this. So let's open that up a little bit. There we go. Fuzzy yarns can be hard to use. But we're actually almost done here. It's only going to go up to right here. Regular membership level, not, not pro membership. One... Almost there. I think two more rounds. So it'll be up to like right there. And we'll make sure that this can be like removable. You know, we're not going to attach this permanently to them. Because I mean, once a new king is throned, we want to be able to use the same cape, probably. All right, last bit for the cape, at least. One. Two. 
All right. Oops. Boom. Chain one. I think this is long enough. I guess we should probably make sure. Yes, I like that. I like that. So it's not like too... It's kind of like he's outgrown his cape too, which is pretty funny. And we can add a little bit of white trim on the bottom. You know? And we'll just tie it around his neck. Like that. Okay, let's add a little bit of white trim on the bottom here. Where to get the macaw? Clubcrochet.com slash macaw. There's a link in the description for everything though. So like this. You know what? I should have done that. Stuff is so soft. It's cr it's like softer than Jimbo, which is saying something. Two. It's also extremely hard to see where my stitches are, so I'm just kind of guessing. happening here Seven. let's go this this right here eight maybe <laughs> let's let that go loose Hey, look at that, 15, and this will be 16. I actually got, I think I might have gotten all the stitches, but that's kind of wild. All right, chain one. Cut this end. We'll hide this end in. And then we just need a scepter. So we're gonna go pipe cleaner for the scepter. Wrapped in golden yarn. Song's a little repetitive. Just a little. <laughs> cool. Cut close, cut close. Now with these ends, We'll thread it on our needle. And we're gonna go like this with it. You don't want it to get in play in away from the head though, you know? You just want the head to be added and removed. So what we're gonna do we're just gonna go. this and then out here and then we'll do the same with this side okay and now we can always remove this 
one. I love that. Oh my god. He's almost complete, you guys. He's almost complete. He just needs a scepter. I'm just gonna put his egg in his crown for right now. Just to have it. Actually, it looks really good in the crown, you guys. But we'll give him a we'll give him a scepter. Okay. Okay, so we're gonna go with, actually. Okay, so here's how we're gonna do the scepter. We're gonna go up, we're gonna do, basically, I think we'll do like a circle at the end that's big enough to hold the egg. You know, like this. We're gonna wrap all this in gold yarn eventually. That's too tight. We want it to be still loose-ish. Yeah, I like that. Cool. Go like that. And actually, I'm just, I think if we just bend this all the way, then we can make it do like a fun spiral down into like a point. So we'll just keep twisting all the way down to the bottom. Because then we can go boom, like that. Make it spiral around a little bit. that right and then just have it go straight down into a scepter so it'll be like a wibbly wobbly one that can fit an egg I like it I mean, it's gotta be long. It's gotta be longer than that. That long? I mean, you know what? Let's just go to the bottom. Worst case scenario, we can make it spin more at the top. Okay. It is gonna be hard to get this in the arm, but. We might just have to figure something else out for that. We're gonna go like this at the end to make it so it doesn't, it's not too pointy. And we'll wrap all of this in gold yarn. Okay, at the top here, we do want it to go like this, you know? So it like spirals a little bit to give the egg something to sit on. And then it goes straight down. So like that. It'll be like that. But wrapped in gold yarn. And maybe doing a couple of nice detail things every now and then. But probably not too much. Alright, let's get gold yarn. And wrap this boy up. And that's going to be it. And then i got to clean up and pack up for tomorrow. Happy burb day! He is huge. He's a big, big burb. Okay. 
So here's how we're gonna wrap this up. I start, I like to start with the end up and then I wrap around it like this. Actually, you know, we can go right into the center of this too to really make sure we don't have any of this pipe cleaner showing. Wow, there's a lot of gold yarn. One. Two. might take a sec. Burbiful. Yes. Absolutely burbiful. We might need to end up pinning this to his, to his arm once we're done with this scepter. No, let's create a knot. There you go. Right? No? Oh gosh. I'm just trying to cover up as much of this gold yarn or gold pipe cleaner as I can at the top at the tip of our end here, which I know is silly to be putting this much effort in it, but you know it's a scepter. It's important to the kingdom of Burb. have one more chance to cover that up later so that might work out okay wrap our way up the pipe cleaner hey yeah First we wrap up and then we wrap down to cover everything again. This should be enough. Oh, this scepter is looking gorgeous. Look at that beautiful scepter. Uh -huh. Fat bird. I'll try to I'll try to get him to the website. I'll try to get him to the website for you. It'll, it'll take a second though, but I'll try. Okay. Cut this end. So now we're just going, this part's, this part might be pretty tough. I might actually just straighten it out and we'll give it its curve in a little bit. Just to make our lives a little easier. Yeah. 
Do, 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 do. Whew. Sorry, I hurt my hand. But look at that. Tell me, like, look at that. That's really looking beautiful. You're very welcome, Linda. Thank you for saying thank you. <laughs> We could use the club from Stitched, yes, absolutely. The trickiest part is gonna be right when we get to this loop. It's gonna take forever. So I'm sorry about this in advance, but this is gonna be a lot of just like in the loop, out the loop, in the loop, out the loop. It might even be easiest to do with the crochet hook. Oops. See what I mean? We're gonna have to go all the way around this end with yarn, and it's going to take a second. But you know what? This is gonna be one heck of a, one heck of a scepter when we're done here. How to get loopy, that's right. Probably could have just like crocheted around this and then worked things differently to make it a lot easier for us, but I didn't do that because I didn't think about it until right now. But that's okay. Sometimes it's really fun to do this pipe cleaner art. I feel like I could do a lot with this kind of work, you know? Tedious. We're one fourth of the way there though on the loop. We're almost done. I think we're about 10 minutes away from being done with our fur, maybe. 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 It'd kind of be nice to add rubies to our egg. Uh oh. Hate coming up with great ideas at the last second, but it would be kind of cool. done with the loop.
kind of relaxing. Look at that. Like a beautiful golden loop. Looks like a... Looks like uh, the hoops from Quidditch, a Quidditch goal post. It's our king pigeon, Susan. Yes, I. It, it is very. It is basically pigeon pattern, but fat. Uh, and for the for the beak, I used the um, seagull pattern. There you go. All right, now I want to double up this loop by continuously going around it one more time. Just kidding, I'm not doing that. <laughs> I, I did think for a second though, like it would look better if this was thicker, but it's like, no, I'm not doing that all over again. Sorry. What a stream guys. This was a this was a long one. But you know what? A nice long stream. I'm going to take a break next week for Thanksgiving. And then I'll be back the week after. We're going to be doing uh I think it's a mystery design along. So maybe we'll do maybe we can do bonimals. Maybe we can do that um the deer bonimal. Like a reindeer. You know, I'll start, I'll noodle around with the idea in my head, but it'll be live, not this Thursday, but the Thursday after in, uh, in, I think it's in the first week of December. Which is when we'll be live again. Oops. Hey, light, light, don't fall, don't fall. There you go. Okay. I just need to cover up this part just a little bit more. And then we can start winding our way back down our piece. Maybe, maybe next year we'll do a queen burb. Okay, so we got our loop. Now we just need to work our way down.
Look at this. That's good. That's really good. Okay. Now at this bottom part. This part's pretty fun. First off, we don't need this much gold anymore. I'm going to take this. And I like it to, to... Wait, wait. Do I pull it up? Yeah. Okay, wait. So it's facing upwards like this. Yes. Okay. And then I wrap around the needle a bunch to go down to cover that last bit. And then we thread this end in our needle like that. And then we just pull it through. And it should create a little knot. Shouldn't have to worry about it coming undone. Okay. Scepter is almost finished. We get our egg. We need to put our egg in here. Ooh, it's gonna be a tight fit with the egg. it like that and then the scepter will come down maybe a little tighter there's our scepter huh that's pretty good you guys if that Oh, that's, that's pretty good. Should be in this side. Oh my God, he's so funny. Okay, wait, we need a needle. You know, we'll just use this needle to attach the scepter to the body. Cause I'm not gonna sew it on. We're just gonna, we're gonna attach it like this and we're just gonna use a needle and he'll just have a needle in him. And that's just the way it's just gonna have to work. You know what, I should use a smaller needle in this though. Where are my needles? Shoot, where'd I put them? Tiniest little needles in the world. Yes, Lavender Orc, what's your question? How can I help you? Actually, you know what? What if we use these pins? I was gonna peel, I was gonna pull this pin off, but what if we use these pins like as little dots along the bottom and it also keeps it attached to our body. What would be the first Bonasaur? Well, probably a, probably a Triceratops just because it's just so cute. One, two, three, four, let's do f maybe five, probably just four though. And we'll go One. Two. Oh, that one's not straight enough. 
to Come on. Go in. There you go. Three. Uh, two and three are pretty close together. Yeah, we should go a little further down. Hopefully this works. I think it will. You know, we'll do the we'll do one a, a little higher up, like right here, then. Come on. Come on, Scepter. I need you to work with me here. We're so close to being done. I don't know if we're gonna need five. No, oh, we'll do five. We'll do five. All right, like that. And then we'll go right in the arm. Push it in. Go, pins, go. Right? That looks pretty good. And he's got a scepter attached. It's not bad. Actually, that, that was a good fix. All right, head on. We need our boys to give us a little room here so we can actually see our King Burb in action. Oh my freaking God. This is the cutest, silliest thing we've ever made on this live stream, I think. Oh my God. Oh my God, I love this so much. This is so good. Oh, I can't wait to show Jewel, she's gonna love it. Okay, okay, okay. So our King Pigeon is finally completed. Our King Burb, rather. He's ready, yes, he's ready to rule Burbtopia slash the world. He has a hard time holding his, keeping his head on, but that's all right. Look at that. That is a king of burbs for sure. King Burb is done. And he's so, his magnet is so crazy strong. Check this out. Holds him upside down, no problem at all. If anything, it's hard to get the thing unattached. Oh, I love him. He rules the nest with an iron beak. Wow. Just wow. And then here's what he looks like under the head. Oh my god. So good, it, oh my gosh, that's so good. Okay guys. That's so freaking funny. Oh my God, that's so funny. <sighs> Low key kind of terrifying. Yeah, exactly, as a king should be. You need to, he needs to rule and he need, you need to be a little bit afraid of him. A little bit afraid of him. King Burb is fat. <laughs> All right, guys. Thank you so much for watching. This has been a great live stream. And what a wonderful fifth birth Burb day for Club Crochet. Thank you all for watching and just hanging out and crocheting King Burb with us. Make sure to like, subscribe, you know, all that fun stuff and 
to another five years of Burb Kingdom rule. Wait, wait. Hip, hip, whoo! Hip, hip, whoo! Hip, hip, whoo! <laughs> per Church of Perch represent. All right, guys. Happy Burb Day. I'll see you guys in a couple of weeks. Uh, make sure to enter the live stream or enter the giveaway. Like this video, subscribe, become a Club Crochet member, get the free macaw pattern before it's too late, and pasta la pizza. Happy hooking. Oh, also, no, you hang up. Oh my god, stop. You hang up. Oh my god, stop it. <laughs> God, you're making me blush. You hang up first. Oh my gosh, no, you hang up. Oh my God, no, you hang up. Stop. Stop. Bye, everybody. No, you hang up first. <laughs> no, you hang up first. Okay, bye. Uh, no, you, no, you, you. No, Cheryl, you hang up first. Hmm, hmm, actually you hang up first. Okay, no, but seriously, bye guys. I love you, bye.